Back sports fans, ASMR Sports here, back with another sports card video. Uh, Alright, I just got done watching our friend, um, I'm a dad, ASMR, um, posted a video of him opening up uh, some of these uh, good value pack, graded card edition um, envelopes. So. I'm gonna link up his video, you should check that out. I'm kind of like, stuck because I can't really, sh like, <laughs> I don't really wanna open up things that I just created. <laughs> um, plus I only have these ones left and these are the big dollar ones. Um, so I was kinda hoping people would make videos of them opening the, um, the uh, good value packs that they ordered so that you can see what kind of stuff is in them. And, um, you know, kinda what the, what the value um, of the cards in there um, are so I think you get a a, a, a pretty um, like uh, indicative um, assortment of cards out of his packs. It was kind of fun to watch because I I sort of like forgot what I put in there and so I was like oh yeah okay I can, I can't remember that and then sometimes I said oh I don't remember that at all. Um, anyway, so go check out his video. I, I think his uh, he's got a really good channel too. So. Um, subscribe if you like that um, this kind of content, which is like ASMR and sports card stuff, because I think you'll have more of that. And uh, I, I gather he's a hockey guy, so uh, I don't know, you know, uh, my ass from a hockey puck. So <clears throat> um, if you want, maybe he'll do, maybe he'll specialize in ASMR hockey con hockey card content, because I I try to do it occasionally, but I'm pretty uh, I just have no idea. Um, what I'm doing. So, um, all right. So that's one thing to check out. Um, I'm gonna chew some gum here, but uh, yeah. So that um, so I got two kind of new products to announce that I've been working on um, over the past week or two. I sort of announced these previously, but I finally got a product listing for these up on my site, so you can actually buy them. I'll link that in the description for this video, but this is uh, one of the 10-pack modern baseball lots that I grabbed that I'll open up um, in a bit, and um, if you want to buy one of these modern baseball lots, for uh, twelve ninety nine, I think I have them at. Um, please do so. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about kind of what's in these packs. But that's kind of a fun one because, like, the only other sort of like modern baseball kind of you know mix product that I had was the twenty twenty. Um, like a hobby baseball box, which was a bunch of hobby packs. I think that was like a hundred and some dollars, so that was pretty expensive. This is, this is, I dare say, this is the cheapest modern baseball like collection of packs you're ever gonna see. Um, you know, and there's not, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you there's a, you know, hobby packs, a 2018 Tops Update baseball, but there's good stuff. There's very good stuff actually you can get in here. And, um, for twelve ninety nine, I figure, you know, hard to go wrong. So that's one thing, and well, again, I'll 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 bust that that particular lot of them there. Each lot may vary a bit, and I'll talk about that. But um, the thing I've been working fast and furious on this weekend um, is the second edition of the Good Value packs, which uh, look a bit different than the original version. And actually, I'm not going to put these hot cardboard stickers on every pack, so that if you if you order them, you're going to get one like this just because I don't know I don't really have that many of these and I didn't really want to be ordering them every time I do one of these since I doubt anybody cares <laughs> what's on the envelope but so this is the graded and cased card edition so that's got cards that are PSA or PGS graded or that came to me in like um, mag cases from other repack products or or from tops um, this is the raw card edition so all the cards in these envelopes
groups are um, they're in top loaders and they're sealed in, in team bags so the cards can't escape um, and this cardboard is actually you know relatively it, it gives some pretty good protection um, and as with the uh, graded card editions these these have a, um, a printout so it's like a piece of paper that just fold it up and I put it in there so it gives it kind of a little bit of extra padding but of course you'll get these in you know larger envelopes or boxes if you order them so uh, I, I actually had quite a bit of fun putting these together I mean it was a lot of work but it was fun just because I got to go through a bunch of my cards and you know see what the values of them were um, and and that was fun because I don't know it's just kind of interesting to see where things are at sometimes it's disappointing because things that were worth like a lot you know six months or a year ago are worth like poop now and um, on the other hand a lot of stuff um, is worth a fair bit more than when I last was aware of it so these are what the rock card edition packs will look like these are a bunch of uh, these are three of the baseball ten dollar ones but what is exciting is that um, um, I'm just gonna show you my notes here um, I did uh, one, two, three, four, five different sports. Now, I don't have a lot of some sports. As you know, I tend to kind of collect almost exclusively baseball and basketball, but I do open other products just because I think it's kind of interesting from time to time to do that. But consequently, most of my collection and most of my raw cards that I use for this product are baseball and basketball. So um, you can see like uh, the, the $10 ones for baseball, I've got 16, the $15 ones I've got four, the $20 ones, I've got six and so on. Um, so I've got quite a few baseball and basketball. And um, football, I like barely have any. I got like one almost of each dollar amount. Hockey, I've got <laughs> exactly one of each, so I barely got hockey. And then soccer, I didn't have a lot of variety in the pricing, but I did have, you know, nine total cards that I end up um, putting into packs. So for those of you who, who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, these good value uh, pack products are a thing that I kind of uh, invented as a repack where basically I, I take cards, I look them up on eBay for the most recent comps. Although sometimes I can't use the most recent comp because it's a um, like best offer accepted and I can't really like see that. There are ways to see that but not that I can like print out very well. So I sort of like end up using the most recent comp that's, um, you know, that's a, a either an auction or a buy it now. Um, on a very small number of occasions, I will say that like the most recent comp is totally whacked because it's like a buy it now and it's like th they just priced it wrong. And um, it's like every, you know, every other, uh, every other price around it is like totally different. So that's probably like two cards out of a hundred um, that, that do that. But anyways, <laughs> I, I like to be uh, very transparent. So um, anyways, other than those like very rare exceptions, I, I just use the most recent comp um, for the card. I printed it out. Um, the printout has the date that I printed it on and it's got the, um, you know, the information on w what the card is and what the sale value was and what, when, when the sale uh, occurred. So some of the more popular cards, you know, have uh, sales happening all the time. Some other cards, you know, haven't been sold for like two, two months or three months. Um, so, you know, it can, it can vary how recent the comp is, but the, you know, the date I'm looking at it is always relatively recent. All of these I did in the last like few days, so um, they'll be quite recent. Um, so you get one card, it's got an eBay comp, so this, this pack is a, a baseball ten dollar pack. So the card in here will have a card in there that's selling on eBay. That's at least ten dollars. Actually, it's at least like I say within a dollar, give or take a dollar. So it might be selling for like nine seventy two. Although those are those are rare, but sometimes that does happen. Um, but it could be selling for thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars. Um, and um, yeah, and that's what you get. So you get a card that's pretty much worth your money. Sometimes. Um, and not infrequently, in fact, it's worth more than what you paid because. So these are the ten dollar packs. The next level up is fifteen. So basically, everything I had between ten dollars and fifteen dollars had to go in a ten dollar pack. So there's cards that are worth twelve dollars or eleven dollars or thirteen dollars in here. Um, and as some people have smartly um, realized, like the the super. Uh, <laughs> bonuses are like uh, between 40 and 60 right because you could get a 59 dollar card in that 40 dollar um pack and because i wouldn't have anywhere else to put it except in the 40. Uh, i'm not telling you that all the 59 all the 40 dollar packs are 59 in fact i i think there probably are at least two that were 40 dollars like right on the button 
is a, a fair bit of upside depending on which ones you buy. Um, you know, I think it's, uh, if, if you buy a handful of them, if you buy three or four of them, you'll definitely get more on average than the price you paid for the pack. And, you know, I was thinking actually about, like, uh, the, when um, I'm a dad ASMR posted his video, you know, sort of like saying, how can this be possible? Well, I mean, the thing is, uh, well, most of these cards I, I pack pulled, you know, a while ago. So, you know, I've got relatively little money into them. Um, and another is, like, uh, you know, if I sell on eBay, I have to pay, you know, eBay a bunch of money for that. And I have to ship them. I mean, I guess I have to ship them to you guys, but if you buy, you know, three or four cards, as many people do, then it's, like, way less shipping. Um, um, so there's that, and then um, it's just a lot quicker for me to, like, if I sell on eBay, I gotta take a picture of the front and back. I gotta, you know, um, upload that with a description onto um, eBay, and I gotta wait around for somebody to buy it, and then when they buy it, you know, I gotta do all the work shipping it out. I mean... I do have to do obviously ship these out, but it's just way less complicated if I just put it in an envelope, you know. So like if there's a thirteen dollar card in here, the amount of labor it takes me to sell that on eBay for thirteen dollars is relatively high compared to sticking it in here and getting ten dollars for it. So it's kind of like I'm saving. So you know I can pass along. It's it's still a good deal for me because uh, I'm not paying eBay a bunch of money and it's like uh, efficiency. It's more efficient for me to sell cards this way and so you know I like they say you know I pass the savings along right <laughs> all right so that's the uh, rock card edition um, as I mentioned I got baseball basketball football hockey and soccer so um, I'm excited to be able to offer those hopefully people who want the sports that I didn't offer last time can get them but I do have limited quantities on those so I apologize if you're I'm finding that those get sold out. So, um, all right, so I'm going to open these. So these, these again, um, this is a 10-pack lot of modern baseball cards. I'm selling these for $12.99. Um, the, each of the 10-card lots, or the 10-pack lots, will differ, um, you know, from one another, although all of them have at least these five opening day 2020, just because I had a lot of them to get rid of, and they're relatively inexpensive. Um, so... And then a lot of these um, packs are, these are five card packs that um, were sold at uh, Dollar Tree for like a dollar back in the day. Um, and I ended up getting a bunch of these um, from Walmart actually like a, a, a couple years ago, maybe, yeah, maybe a year and a half ago. And then I just randomly have like some other packs thrown in. This is a uh, 2019 uh, retail pack that came from a, um, a mega box, a Bowman mega box. So that has like packs in it that, um, that have special mega box refractors in it. And a lot of people just open the mega box, open those packs and then like kind of put these away. And that's kind of what I did. Um, so I had a bunch of these and I'm getting way less of them because there's a, you can get a, you can get a Chrome rookie card of uh, Wander Franco in these things. And like, that thing is on fire. Um, so I've been giving these, it's like slowly, I've just been giving these away, <laughs> like with orders and stuff that I get on my site. And now I have relatively few left, but some of them I put in these bags. So that's what we got here. I'm going to open these. Um, I also wanted to announce that I've made probably my biggest purchase of modern sports cards ever. Um, which I think is, well, I don't know if that's really saying a lot, because honestly, a lot of the stuff I, I buy case-wise is not too expensive when I buy it, but um, against my um, kind of better judgment, <laughs> and probably your better judgment, I decided to, get, to pick up some uh, 2020 um, Prism Basketball. I saw this card. I thought it looked. I thought it was Pete Alonzo. And he's right next. Um, Michael Baez. Again, the card you're looking for in here is um, a SP rookie card of Luis Robert that actually was pretty hard to find. I opened a bunch of this stuff back when I got it, and I never got one. Um, I think they're like one every. 
probably six boxes or so. so that's pretty. That's pretty rare. Um, so it's a pretty cool card. It's a little foil action in there. Uh, anyway, so like, yeah, prison basketball. I um. That's one of the kind of more common blue parallels. But you know, if you get a rookie like a Boba shit, probably worth something. Certainly, you know, 2020 boxes could be 
as expensive as 2019 boxes eventually uh, which is kind of crazy because like if, if you buy a 2020 box for 2500 and 2019 boxes are like at three thousand dollars and they have a pretty good rookie class it's like well you've only got five hundred dollars upside <laughs> and then assumes that somebody from the 2020 class starts you know does really good like next year or something so anyways I might be you know might be living on the streets it's a nice Jack Peterson rookie um, but I just I don't know I just felt like uh, you know what like f for five thousand less than blowout is selling these things Plus, I put it on, like, a credit card that I get, like, 2.5% back on. Um, so I got, you know, I got that savings. I mean, I think I'm probably in these boxes out of this case at, like, um, maybe, like, two grand or 2050 or somewhere between 20, 2050 and $2,100 per box. Now, is this, like, an SP or something?
cost. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, uh, let's see, I think that's all I got for today. Uh, I do have a box of Absolute Basketball making its way to me now um, from my uh, wholesaler that <laughs> was kind enough to uh, give me one box of that. So, if you have an interest in that, let me know. I'm, I'll, I'll put it for sale. I wish I, I wish I felt like I could open that kind of stuff when it came, because it would be kind of fun, but I don't know, it's just like the price of stuff is so high, I can't do it to myself, I can't like, um, you know, um, s like open it and take the risk that I get no value, and when I could sell the box for like whatever those are going for, probably like 450 bucks, so, um, I guess if anybody wants a, a box of Absolute and they want to have me open it on uh, a video that would be cool I could probably give you a nice little discount versus what you'd buy for online um, so anyways yeah that's kind of what's coming up yeah really cool cards here I gotta say um, thanks so much to everybody for watching please uh, check out the good value packs and these um, 10 pack modern baseball lots uh, which I will link up in the description and thanks to uh, I'm a Daddy SMR for his video. Please go check him out. All right, we'll see y'all later. Have a great one.